what do we have here? I thought that guy was gonna yell at me. He's throwing garbage out. Oh! oh. Hey. Lots of times this will be empty, but this one, the way they're stacked in there, so nice. Take that off full. Look at that. Someone threw a, like a deep fat fryer in here. So, uh, luckily, uh, I think most of the box, the box took the brunt of it. Um, usually these will be empty but sometimes they're not and uh, i'm just gonna grab this box and get out of here but i'll look at them later box of VCR tapes in there too. Maybe I better check out. Those tapes aren't really anything, but what else is down there, I wonder. actually a really nice comforter look at it um not exactly my style but uh owner i think that was a return or uh, maybe like a layaway or something um shoot i might have to keep that <laughs> be a good bed for my animals my dog at the very least um there's some kind of sealed vhs tips down there but they're really not gonna be worth much um with these cds looks like they're pretty clean stuff not a whole lot of value billy joel gospel christmas collection Vince Gill. So yeah, there's definitely some value in there. Um, lock those up, sell them instantly on eBay or take them to a pawn shop. And I don't know what pawn shops are giving for them. Maybe make it 10 cents, a nickel, 25 cents for some, you know, who knows. But uh, anyways, it's a good way to start. I'm right around the corner from the Freetail store. So uh, I'm actually going to take this to the Freetail store. Uh, maybe I better not. Um, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I, I don't know if it's clean or not. But uh, I'll drop it off there for now.
This is my free tail store for those of you that are new. Um, this lock is unlocked. The link for the, the playlist of these free tail store videos. It's down in the description if you want to find out what this is. Um, that's a broken screen TV, so uh, I'll get to more dumpster diving here in a second. I just want to drop this stuff off. There's some scrap metal in there, not not a whole lot. The newer the TV, the less there'll be. There's a little bit of gold in there. Also, if you're interested, open up the show more link. In the description will open up. And uh, there's a bunch of videos down there for scrapping stuff out. I got flat screen TVs, flat screen monitors. Um, The newer the TV, the less gold. The older the TV, the more gold. So, uh, obviously the old glass tube TVs don't have the gold plated circuit boards. The old glass, there's, video for scrapping out the old glass tube TVs um, quite a bit of copper in the old the old old school TVs there's also a video down there for that um, okay so if you're interested in doing something like this I touched on this a video a while back how I get away with using this little vehicle. You would want to have like a storage center here, a storage center there. Not necessarily even something you pay for, but a stash hole, maybe a friend's house or a friend's business lot, you know, or, or you know, maybe you get a storage unit on the other side of town, real cheap one. You can get a little tiny storage unit. I would suspect in any, any city for fairly cheap, you know, I have these real big ones for cheap around here, but uh, that's how you would do it. It's kind of like a perpetual motion system, right? So I'm not driving across town and all the way back to one place all the time, right? So obviously I'm in a different part of town now. And empty load, right? So uh, anyways, I'm going to come back and get that stuff. If someone gets it before I get back, oh well. But uh, let's get down the road. I like find stuff like that. <laughs> uh, you could take something like that to a store like Play It Against Sports. They will almost undoubtedly give you something for that as long as they need a supply of it. If they're running short on a supply like that, they might actually give you a surprising amount of money for that. Uh, you know, like three, four times, five, six times more than a scrapyard, right? So uh, I basically have a small gym <laughs> at this point. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm in a tiny little apartment, so let's see here. Well, I shouldn't say I have a gym, but <laughs> I have so many of those types of free weights floating around. And I've probably scrapped and taken 10 times that much that I have now to past so played against sports is pretty cool man uh, 
I'm trying to remember the prices last time I was there. It, it fluctuates. It's a supply and demand thing. If they got a store full of the product to bring in, they might offer you something lower than a scrapyard, right? So, but uh, there's something to look into for sure. Alrighty then. What else we got around here? Camera off too quick. <laughs> What's this? This is kind of some of the more surprising stuff. Hundred dollar wine voucher. Uh, I don't see an expiration on that. Of course, you can barely see that. But a hundred dollar wine voucher. Claim within thirty days. I don't see a date on there. I think it says you gotta buy one hundred and fifty dollars worth of wine, and you get a hundred dollars off or uh I'm not sure how that was worded something like that I think I might have lost a couple farkles. <laughs> Never know what you're dealing with. I want to touch this stuff right away. I did miss a farkle. It's still in there too. Um, how did I miss it? I wouldn't have normally kept that last flat screen I found, but I was right around the corner from the retail store, so we'll give it a chance, right? So. 
so I might want to some people just like to do that for a project circuit boards are worth some money and they're going up in price pretty good now so a lot of the reason why you see me not do stuff is because like those vacuum cleaners and these flat screens there's there's enough vacuum cleaners and flat screens out here for me to work you know 20 hours a day right just on those two items together you know what i mean <laughs> if i took every one i found and scrapped it out and sold parts and stuff that's all i would do that's all i'd ever do and i could do that 100 hours a week if i wanted right so i don't want to do that next dumpster clothes dump there's a lot of clothes in there they look like they're pretty nice too but uh, they're not in a bag or anything so just kind of showing that sometimes we're just showing stuff now for uh, people particularly people that might need stuff out there i mean look, <laughs> i didn't i didn't look at this one yet just look at all this brand new stuff right here i mean uh, some kind of clothing right i mean it's just it's just a whole thing of brand new stuff <laughs> um take a couple of those i guess throw those in the free tail store with it if you need clothing right <laughs> i can fill up on it right now there's more over there i'm just gonna get out of here well let's take one quick peek make sure i'm not missing something great oh, what is it What the heck, huh? Anyways, clothing, 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 clothing. routine site you don't think much of it but I mean think of the money that was spent all that stuff when it's brand new you know a very short amount of time I could easily see thousands of dollars worth of clothing at a, at a new price you know what I mean So Wilson, but uh, you could probably sell something like that to sport, uh, play it against sports as well. You won't get a whole lot for it, but you know, I would take it. But I've just learned for me, messing around with big bulky pieces of tin that only are worth you know 30 cents, it's just don't actually cost me money messing around with that kind of stuff. Inside, so tore up the Levi's shoes. Um, little rocking chair. All kinds of furniture out there. If you wanted to do something like that, there's sounds stupid, but there's enough old couches and chairs and, and rocking chairs out there. Structurally, that thing's fine. It needs to be upholstered, right? But there's there's a enough furniture out there where you could spend spend all your time redoing furniture right <laughs> that's how much is out there sometimes i'll see the comment people saying i make this look real easy and uh i tend to forget <laughs> that i've been doing it for so long 
I know where all these dumpsters are. And I'm running pre pre routed routes, right? For the most part, uh, now I can piece all these little routes together. But uh, I tend to forget that uh, it's really not this easy. It's actually really difficult work. Um, well, I mean, it is and it isn't, but it's not easy. But it is difficult work. I just, <laughs> I tend to forget. Once you do something for a long time, you know, it's a 10,000 hour rule, right? The, uh, you do something for 10,000 hours and you're a professional, 10,000 hour professional rule, basically, whatever it is. So, uh, if you were to try to do this, I do make it look easy and it's not that easy. The main, the main problem you will have right off the bat as you don't know where all dumpsters at, right? And if you're in a big vehicle, obviously, last, last 60 seconds or so, you don't do that kind of stuff in a big vehicle, right? So, uh, big vehicle is probably three to four times slower, less efficient as far as covering ground. Of course, you can carry more, but uh, I hate to leave this guy sitting here. Me want big kiss. <laughs> Man, he's got a tag on him. But yeah, I mean, I, I do forget. I was thinking about that the other day. I meant to say it in a video a while back, but even even getting these dumpsters like I do, it's not <laughs> it's not something anyone's or most people are, are gonna be able to do right away, right? I'm hanging upside down on these things, right? So it's kind of like riding a bicycle. Ride a bicycle for a couple months. And your body's like, what are you doing, man? But then ride the bicycle for another month. And your body's like, what? This ain't hard, you know? Your body just So, yeah, it's difficult. You might find it pretty difficult right off the bat. I do tend to forget that. But it gets better. Probably will want it to get like a, a garbage, some garbage picking tools, right? Jumping, out of, jumping in and out of these things is probably something most people wouldn't care to do <laughs> now that I think about it but uh everyone number one that I don't think about is you don't know where the dumpsters are at it might take you three four four months a year to find out where all dumpsters are at right find out where our dumpsters are at and you just you're 50 percent more efficient you know at that point so and it's not, not everything I say is perfect but it's a, an outline right it's a general syllabus if you will bungee cords and these rough rubbermaid totes fit really well together i can adjust these bungees anywhere there's these ridges in here for for strength here 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 there's a little see those little things so that bungee cord is locked basically locked into a two inch area or so um bungee cords allow me to carry a lot more stuff than you would think i could carry i didn't use bungee cords for a long time um so uh, it's a lot safer and you can carry a lot more for instance i could fit an entire mountain bike without taking the wheels off on these totes and strap it down with bunsies and that's something you know you can't you can't put a, a full-size mountain bike in a in a car right so <laughs> there are some aspects this little vehicle might not be obvious at first sight you know you're not putting a full-size mountain bike in, in your back seat or your front seat or your trunk maybe some cars but you know what i mean there was there is let's see if it's still here an aluminum lamp i think it's gone i wonder if someone finally 
saw my video just gone <laughs> man i've been look at that shoot that's almost identical golf cart it's not a wilson same type of deal tin metal golf cart caddy imperial <laughs> kmart that's an old one i think shoot i wonder if that's got collector value um there was a cast aluminum city light pole that had been sitting back here for years and years and years and they remodeled this place or they put all these light poles around this parking lot and on the streets and i always debated taking it <laughs> i didn't want to go to the scrapyard with the city light pole <laughs> it was obviously abandoned though right so One of these dudes here a big giant thing like that that's uh all cast aluminum like 200 pounds or so probably that, that cast aluminum will break up too if you find a big piece of cast aluminum like that that's that's actually probably too big for a pickup truck too well not really close but uh that cast aluminum shatters so if you hit it hard with something you can get that cast aluminum to break <laughs> Break that into pieces, carry it all day long. Cast steel, cast iron. Cast iron also breaks, you wouldn't think it would. Cast iron sinks, cast iron bathtubs. Big pieces of cast iron. That also breaks too. More eye protection. Like if I found a, a cast iron sink, you could just, as long as it wasn't too heavy to pick up, you could just pick it up and drop it and pick it up and drop it and pick it up and drop it. And eventually a crack would crack and uh, just pick it up and drop it and it'll bust in half, right? And then bust it in quarters, you know? This dumpster belongs to the DEA. I didn't know what this place was at first. It's not Mark's. But uh, there's looks like they redid their window blinds. Those are actually nice pieces of aluminum on there. Um, I don't feel like messing with that right now. But uh, the bar on top of those blinds is a nice piece of extruded aluminum. One of my better videos, I have about a $1,500 jackpot. The DEA cl like cleaned out like their closet or something. And there's all these tapes and and uh, sirens and, and a bunch of a bunch of copper and what else was in there? All kinds of stuff was in there. I'll, I'll put that link right down in the description too. That was uh, that was one of my first videos that, that gained traction on YouTube right there. So uh, if you're new to this, public domain is a big word. All this stuff right here you see is in the public domain. It's, it's literally on a public street. <laughs> you won't find a lot of dumpsters that are literally on a public street. But uh, if you're interested, look up public domain, Google public domain. Because there are, there are a lot of places that technically you shouldn't be gone, right? Like behind fences, anything fenced in and that kind of stuff. Up against the building, you're not supposed to mess with that. I'm trying to think of the word. I'll put the word up right now. I can't think of the word right off the bat. Check that word out. That's what most people care about. No unauthorized dumping. That's the main thing that really makes people mad.
people generally shouldn't care a whole lot if you're taking stuff out and not being a menace this is a real neat little area it's kind of cool this stream bebops in and out underground across the city I'm not exactly sure where it goes I was thinking about making a video last summer but it's like a little in spots it's like a little paradise you know it's uh, kind of a wonderful little place These little signs are pretty weird. Um, that's uh, probably seven pounds of, ca of uh, extruded aluminum, right? So, uh, seven fourteen. That's that's about three dollars. That's an expensive sign. <laughs> Those are not cheap. That, I didn't talk about that bucket, did I? A little galvanized bucket. That should probably clean up pretty good. I'll probably put that in the retail store or take it to the scrapyard. Wait a minute. For those of you that might be interested, I have some free money. If you want some free money, down in the description you'll find a link for Robin Hood where you'll get some free money. And a link for uh, BlockFi where you get some free money if you want. It's an introduction to uh, doing a little investing. Hey, that's pretty cool right there. That's clean too. Um, that's that's a neat little crock pot. It almost looks like it's been never used or well taken care of. No, it's been used. It's been used. It's been taken care of. It's clean. So uh, I need one of those. I, well, I don't need one. <laughs> I have the old style crock pots, but I, I like that one. That's kind of a low profile digital. Um, I like that. What do you think about that? I have a feeling that's going to work nice too. What do you think about that? But uh, some links down there. Get some free money if you want some free money. Robin Hood is uh, you, don't, you don't have to make a deposit or nothing, right? Robin Hood is just making an account and they give you a free stock. Generally it's gonna be about three, four, five dollars. I've had reports of some people getting a, an expensive stock, a couple hundred bucks, something like that. Hundred bucks. But uh, anyways, check that out. I have another channel called Bitcoin Street. I'm doing some good stuff in the cryptocurrency world learning my way uh i'm doing really well if you want to go check it out over there i'm learning 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 i know a lot of the people that watch this channel of mine are older i'm 50 and i know my main audience is like 35 to 60 so we don't we don't know what cryptocurrency is yet right um you may not understand it you may hear people that don't understand it say bad things about it but you're gonna start hearing about the kid down the street is a multi-millionaire all right that th this is happening <laughs> there's literally a digital financial revolution taking place all those millennials we've been making fun of about sitting in their mom's basement doing nothing they've been creating a, an entire another monetary system so uh, it's the real deal folks early bird gets the worm so uh have a look right have a look I'm not gonna hear to talk to anybody anything but you're gonna start hearing stories about the kids down the street filthy rich wealthy right that's how it is early get in early this 
is a nice these are uh, so these little office chair mats those are not cheap those are ones for carpet um <laughs> there's two of them in there they look like they're in decent shape they will flatten out if you let them sit for a while they're both for carpet though i don't have any need for that um those are expensive man i paid like 80 bucks for the one i got in my apartment i can't believe how expensive they are <laughs> What else we got in here? Some flower pots, some flower pots. Um, you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear the stories about the kids down the street. You're gonna hear the stories about the TikTok kids and the, <laughs> the millennials that are gazillionaires. You're about to start hearing the stories. They're gonna start seeping out. And you're, you're gonna hear about Amazon. Except in cryptocurrency, you can hear NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball. You're gonna start hearing stories. I'm just trying to tell you about it before you hear about it somewhere else. I didn't understand it myself. Five months ago, I'd have told myself to shut up and make this video. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have actually said that, but I know people really don't like hearing about it but uh sorry bitcoin street channel my other channel i'm trying to put out a video about every day check it out check it out If you start to look, you will see scrap metal all over the place. Scrap metal is money. And look at this little natural spring right here. Look at that. There's little natural springs all over the place around here. That was pretty wild. I'll probably wash out this sidewalk eventually. But uh, anyways. might freak somebody out if they don't know what's here open the door too quick <laughs> um alrighty I think that's enough fun for one day oh, oh shoot I should have stopped and played against it I don't know if they're open or not that could have been something I could have flipped street flip right street flip street flip um I uh, hope someone out there learned something. I uh, hope everyone else enjoyed the show. And as always, thanks for watching.